Hello, my viewers. Good morning, and um, welcome back to Variety TV UK. Thanks for coming back to my channel. And um, please, before I start, please, please subscribe to my channel. You know, give me your comment and share my video. Uh, what I was just discussing is that I want you know uh, something. It's a quick, quick, snappy one, but it's on my mind as well. It's neighbors. Hey, it's arranged marriage. Arranged marriage, believe me, is is a big thing in UK. Actually, it's really a big thing. And when I say arrange marriage in UK, it's mostly people trying to get their papers through you know quick marriage and to the home office. Sometimes, mind you, home office knows about it, so don't get me wrong. They all know about it. So, it's, but. The silly, the funny way of what, how they do this, they are in marriage and thinking they're smart at it and um, thinking they're trying to fool everyone else is what makes it even more bizarre. You know, I've seen an arranged marriage in Brixton here was a couple of days ago and it was, this arranged marriage was done in McDonald's. Um, it's nothing wrong in doing your marriage in McDonald's. You can come and do your reception in McDonald's, but I wouldn't expect you to do your, your real registry, registry registration of your real proper marriage that you want to send to the home office in food store in McDonald's in just joints like just eating out in the corner shop. It doesn't look cool. On your the man's side, I'm not, the guy it was a black guy. He wasn't looking cool. I'm telling you, this guy, man, you're going to stay long in this. I'm looking, seeking for this city uh, paper. Otherwise, you'd be thrown out of the uh, home office. Because the man was there with two other or three other people and he signed the papers. He was in McDonald's. He was wearing like a jeans and a shirt. And the woman was, was wearing one gown. It wasn't even a wedding gown. Anyway, but I knew this was not going nowhere. So it's just going to end up. They just take his paper and put it in the bin. Because it just looks too bogus. At the same time, he's just playing himself. It's not playing anybody. Marriage is supposed even if even if it wasn't arranged marriage, you wouldn't do your marriage in a McDonald's in a food store just wearing jeans and a shirt and your wife just wearing something like a you know a blouse. You know, you wouldn't do that. You make it sensible, you make it perfect, you make it look normal. But this is obviously a bogus one because I could see it was a bogus one. I know it was a bogus one. They didn't tell me, but I can use my head to think this must be a bogus marriage so and, and many people like that they they actually there's a lot of arranged marriages sometimes people do you go to the registry i've seen one when after their whole marriage is done in the registry they went out as soon as they come out from the church and they're holding their gown it comes the bride and as they they part they, they were supposed to go to, I, I, thought they would, I mean from there she go to reception the man jump on london bus is going to his early morning job and the woman just went on a, another Cab and went away. That was it. That was marriage. I'm like, look, if they were watching you, they've already caught you already. And can you just jump from a long, just out from your reception? Even if you don't tell anybody, like, it's fake. To me, it looks fake. That's the way I see it. From my own point of view, that's what it looks like. Because you're jumping on the bus after marriage and jumping to your early money job. That doesn't make sense to me. I don't know what kind of love is that. It just looks fake. That's what I think it is. Sometimes there's also marriages where you will see them coming to the, uh, at the park and in the park it's just like, they, you know, you, mind you, you, the one thing is that when you come to the home office to do your marriage, the only thing you have to be careful, they can sometimes sense something, when something is wrong, they can sense it. And when they sense something is really wrong, they will have spy to follow you out, to follow you and see what's, what's your move. What's the next thing? And there they will keep the name. And those names, before you get to the home office or send your document, they've already sent the document, your name them to the home office to look, be, look, to look out for this name. So that when all the documents get there, they already got the information from the registry already. Because you've played it there, you've made the obvious there, they might even get to the registry and start having an argument, silly argument in the registry. This is supposed to be newly, uh, newlywed couples. And fighting each other and saying and so what should i do now but but you told me you see this you say that and oh so who should we 
arguing among themselves. It doesn't even look it doesn't even look legit. It looks it looks bizarre. It looks bogus. Um, the more you're doing that, they're all looking at you. And the more you're looking at you, they're recording it. Even in their office there, there's cameras watching you. But, you know, that's what they want to do. Sometimes they end up sending all their documents to the home office. And it takes 10, 5, 10 years. And they're thinking, oh, what's, why is nothing happening? Why are they not bringing back my document? Why are they not giving me my papers? And some people got theirs in one year. Yes, because they look, they was, those ones look legit. Theirs look legit. When you do the one that's bogus, the home office did not mind. It's not even the home office that figured it out. It's the registry that figured it out and they send all your situation before you even send the document. They're already there waiting for you. So when you get there, they're only going to put in the bin. And you've been thinking, why is it taking longer? It took longer because you played, you play, you you will try to play a game that's never going to work. You might as well be in a good relationship. You might as well, you know, try and you know. Just be in a relationship. You get to know the person, love the person, do a proper marriage, and see how it goes. And put the blessings of God into it. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it works out and it might be in your favor and the two of you might end up having a child and love each other and the wedding might succeed. But, you know, it's a time we tell. But don't make it look bogus. If you make it look bogus, you have a difficult time in receiving your papers or passport in the home office because... They're not, they know what's going on. They can read body language. They're looking at you and they're passing information to each other. There's cameras all over. In this UK, there's cameras all over the place. It's like a big brother watching you and you know, spying on you, but you might not know. But there's cameras all, all over the place. So whatsoever you're doing, you have to do it sensibly. If you do a proper, like if, if you're legit with the marriage and you genuinely stay together and you put effort into the marriage put your effort put your strength into the marriage mind is it, it's going to work and it works sooner than you can expect it but when you're trying to play the other person or you think you're trying to play the system it's not going to work because this is big brother country they're washing you 24 hours it won't make sense that's the reason why your passport takes longer to to be released or that's why your document is being thrown in the bin and that's why they're not even giving you your uh, passport so it's nothing to do with racism no don't get that into your thick head it's nothing to do with racism it's just got to do with you being dumb so if you want to do your bogus marriage i will say no look for somebody you're interested in look for somebody you're in love with or somebody you might end up saying that okay this person is pretty so this is somebody i can i can see mine in the future this is somebody i can see yeah working in, working out for me and, you know, with putting your own effort into it, putting your strength into it, putting, uh, you know, trying to make it work is going to work. But trying to say, you know, just let me just play the person. It's never going to work. I've seen somebody that has a wife in Nigeria, but mind you, came here, saw somebody, she he li he, he, he lies, but not in love. But later, he would, by putting effort, putting strength into it, they became, he, he still loving her. Now they got two kids. He's not got his papers. He's still with her. He didn't divorce her. If he wants to marry his second wife that's still in Nigeria, he can because, you know, Nigerians, they know you Africans believe in polygam, polygamy anyway. So that's not going to be an issue to, the, to, the, uh, to them. That's not even their problem. They know that as long as the person you be mind here is okay with it, then that shouldn't even be a problem. You understand me, but try and not stop stop all these bogus marriage. It's not gonna work. This is big brother country. Watch it, whatever you do, they're watching you. So I'm just giving you my own peace of mind. But if you have any other thing, other ideas in your head that you want to deliver, please you know subscribe to my channel and give your own comment. If you think everything I've said is shit, just still leave your comment. I'm open to learning and I'm open to new ideas. I'm talking from what my own point of view, and I'm talking from what I see. So just uh, subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. This is Yemi. Thanks. Cheers.